nutmegs, and rainbow flicks. These are the two favorite skills of Neymar, who is probably the most exciting football player to watch in the world today. But we almost never watched the skills of this crazy talent because he almost died when he was a kid. He was involved in a terrible car accident that almost cost him his life. Those are three things about Neymar. And here are 96 others. 99 things about Neymar in less than eight minutes. Can we do it? You better believe it. Challenge accepted. Neymar was born on February 5, 1992 in Mogi das Cruzes, Brazil. His name comes from his father, also named Neymar. His father was a former footballer, and it's from him he got his love of the game. But Neymar also had another love as a child, futsal. That's how he developed his skills and his ability to operate in tight spaces. In 2003, Neymar joined Santos, the club of Pele and Robinho. In fact, many people compared a young Neymar to those two stars. He was also compared to Ronaldinho and even Messi. And in his first interview, he spoke about how people said he was a lot like Robinho. Robinho even gave him advice to keep training so he could go pro. His youth career was so successful that his family could buy a house with his income. At 15, he went to Real Madrid to meet the team. The club wanted to sign Neymar badly and tried to convince him by having him hang out with his hero, Robinho, and the other stars like Ronaldo Nazario. That was his favorite team as a boy. But Real failed, as we all know, because Santos ran a massive campaign to keep the young star at the club. At 17, Neymar had a huge year for two reasons. Number one, he signed his first professional contract. And number two, he became a father. He named him Davi Luca de Silva Santos. His mother was a social media sensation named Carolina Dantas, but Neymar isn't with her anymore. The pair share custody of Davi, but he spends most of the time with his mom, since Neymar travels a lot for his job. But Neymar loves him a lot and spends a lot of time with him, too. <laughs> in fact, after PSG lost the UCL final in 2020, Neymar still took the time to celebrate his son's birthday. And apart from his son, his whole family is very important to him, too. His father is his agent, and he's very close to his sister. Neymar and his sister even have tattoos of each other. Okay, okay, lay off the jokes, guys. We all know that later on, Neymar signed for Barcelona. But did you know Santos had to reject a big 2010 bid from West Ham United? Imagine Neymar playing in London with the Irons. They also... He wasn't talking about his TV or film roles. He also loves music and promotes Musica Sertanea while also appearing in some Brazilian rap videos. And of course, he's made some very famous friends. Check out him kicking it with Natalia Gietler. He's also kicked the ball around with Justin Bieber and has built a friendship with Jimmy Butler. But how do they speak? Does Butler speak Portuguese or Spanish? Because Neymar barely speaks English. 
In 2011, when he arrived at Barcelona, Neymar started learning some English. But in 2016, Cristiano Ronaldo had to act as a translator for him at the Ballon d'Or ceremony. Now, Neymar's English has gotten a bit better, though, because that's how he talks to his friend Kylian Mbappe. He joined PSG in 2017, and even though he plays in the French League, he isn't fully fluent in French, though he knows a couple of words and sentences. But there were a lot of Brazilian friends for him to spend time with. His best friend? Dani Alves. The two played together in Barcelona and at PSG. And his friend Dani Alves is the player he played the most with on the football pitch. They played 196 games together. His other friend Messi is the player he collaborated on the most goals with. They scored 56 goals together. He's got other friends there, including Marquinhos and Rafinha. And as with those teammates, he does his favorite thing, playing pranks. He plays pranks on everyone, friends, family, or teammates. But don't worry, his teammates get him back. And speaking of teammates, if he had to make a three-a-side team, who would he choose as his teammates? Mbappé y Messi, porque son muy buenos. <laughs> y así no perderíamos nunca. Neymar also thinks Mbappé is the fastest player he's ever played with. Está rapidísimo. <laughs> but he didn't pick his best friend for his three-a-side team. Neymar said Sergio Ramos is the strongest player he ever faced. Es muy complicado enfrentarlo. But he's not the player he faced the most. It's Diego Godin, who played 18 times against Neymar. In the past, Neymar was a key player for Nike, but recently he's followed a different path, joining up with Puma. He's also been the cover star for some video games. He was on Pro Evo in 2012 and 2013, and in 2018 and 2019 he appears in videos on FIFA. He's also been a groundbreaking Brazil athlete. He was the first Brazilian to be on the cover of Time in 2013. Neymar is also a devout Christian. He's a part of the Pentecostal branch. He wore in the past a handband that said 100% Jesus and named Kaka as his religious role model. He got in some trouble for appearing on the cover of a Brazilian magazine on a cross. Neymar's always been a little controversial, even for his play. His diving and play acting have been criticized, even if he does it because he's kicked a lot on the pitch. Remember in 2014, a Colombian player broke his back, but he's never stopped his amazing play. So enjoy a nutmeg and a rainbow flick from Neymar, because he won't be around forever. And speaking of forever, that took a while, but we did it. Now it's your turn to find a 100th thing about Neymar. And in the meantime, here are the best 100th things we found on our last video, 99 Things About Sadio Mane. Congrats, guys, and see you in the next episode.